where you have to discuss about the screw jack. Screw is prepared by cutting a helical. Helical means the, in the shape of the helical grooves, the helical slots upon the surfaces of the solid right circular cylinder. Means over the surface of the cylinder by cutting these helical grooves we get the screw. So now that we can see with the help of a simple diagram. You can see this is the cylinder. So this is the cylinder. Now there are grooves like this. The grooves are cut on the surface of the cylinder. So it is a cylinder. So this is a cylinder. Now on the surface of the cylinder, these are the grooves, helical grooves. You can see in the diagram. So now this is known as a screw. Now the distance between this point is let us say A and this point is let us say B. Now the distance between these two points is nothing but a small p. So what is small p? Small p is the pitch of the two groups. Okay, now so let us draw the angle of the group. So let this angle is alpha, this point is A, and this point is A1, and this point is B1. Let us say now the distance between A to B is a small b, so this is the which small p you can see here and the total distance in the circumference of the cylinder that is from A to the another point B1. So this length will be equal to pi d means circumference of the circular cross section is a pi d. Now from this we can calculate the angle alpha that is angle of group tan alpha is equal to opposite by adjacent. So this is a formula we will be using to calculate angle of this group. Now let us see what is pitch. Let us define pitch here. So it is defined as is defined as the center to center distance means the center of A to the center of this point, center to center distance between between two consecutive threads. So these are the grooves, nothing but you can say these as the grooves or threads between two consecutive consecutive threads. So this is the definition of the pitch. So what is the definition of the pitch? It is defined as the center to center distance between two consecutive threads. Now let us define the lead of the screw. So it is the distance of movement of screw in the direction of the axis of the screw. You see the screw just in the previous figure we have seen, we have seen that there are threads like this. So now along its axis, so this is the axis, 
So along the axis, whatever the distance move, the distance we are calling as a lead of the screw. So this is the definition of the lead. So screw works on the same principle on which an inclined plane is working. So the same concept of the inclined plane, that is the working principle of inclined plane and the working principle of screw both are the same. See the application of screwdriver is, see these are commonly used to lift the heavy loads when the wheel of buses or cars and heavy vehicles like lorries or any heavy weight if you want to lift we will be using screwdriver and when the vehicles are punctured then what will happen is we have to raise the vehicle with a single screw jack by applying a force on angle. So let us discuss the working principle of the working principle of screw jack with the help of that. So there are threads on this. So they are shown with a red color. You can see this is a screw, means there are threads on this. Now there is a handle connected at this, this like this. Now from center of this screw. This is the axis of screw. So from center of screw up to the end of the handle, this is L and we know the weight of the vehicle will be acting on a screw jack in this direction. Then this is a handle. So, this handle is rotated by applying force P on this. Now, this one is a nut, the diameter of screw, diameter of screw is D, and this is the supporting structure, means screw jack body. Now, let us discuss. Say so a weight W is acting on the screw jack on the top of the screw. So this is a screw with a threads, and these threads are a square threads. Square threads. I'll write here. Screw jack threads, screw jack threads. So, this I am writing here are square threads. So, screw jack threads are square threads here. Now the diameter of screw is a small d and this part is a nut of the screw jack and it is the body supporting structure of the screw and there is a handle here, this is the handle. So this is the handle. Now, a force P applied on a handle means to rotate this. So by applying force, this handle we can rotate like this so that this screw gets the movement either in the upward, downward, 
depending on the rotation. So in one direction rotation of the handle, this will be moving upward or in another direction it will be moving down. So that you can lift the load, you can lift the vehicle when it gets punctured. So after getting it correct, then again to lower the vehicle, so we have to rotate this in the reverse direction so that screw will come down, then the work is done.